Hey YouTube, it's Mark here. I hope you're well and good. I uh, wanted to record a video update today. Uh, it's been been quite a while since I've done one and um, there's a reason why because uh, a lot's been going on and uh, for those of you that follow the channel, um, for the few people that correspond with me, um, it, it's kind of just uh, appropriate to bring you up to speed. So um, on Saturday I moved into a new hired house as it says in the scripture uh, a new rented accommodation so i finally left the 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 place of my my adopted dad's and um that's been uh, really liberating actually just to be in a a normal home environment and um to live in a normal way because my my situation there was very abnormal and uh after he passed away it continued um you know kind of where i was and and what i was doing it uh, didn't really change much at all. So it was a very unusual way of, um, you know, living. The space that I, that I occupied, for example, was very small. And, uh, yeah, there was a lot of turmoil and, and struggle after that. So to finally, finally be able to move out uh, was just a real godsend. Uh, it was very busy. Um, there's been a lot of planning and a lot of things that I've had to do to, to get this all organised and to happen. And uh, of course, it's it's very costly, so um, that that's been a challenge as well. Um, so so it's gone okay. Um, we've been sleeping there, so that's me and my my two youngest sons. We've been sleeping there now since Saturday night, um, and we've um, you know left the previous property. So um, so yeah, it's been it's been good. It's a, it's a really nice place, and uh, it's just sort of clean and uh, nice and. Uh, you know, it's really, really just, uh, just a pleasure to be there, and it's been something that I, I just didn't foresee really happening, especially when my dad passed away. It was, uh, uh, you know, I really just didn't see myself getting to this point. So to actually be there, and to be living there, and and just, you know, living a normal life there now, uh, it's still a bit surreal actually. But uh, I'm really grateful for it. So I wanted to just uh, report that that's happened. Um, and the good thing, of course, now it means that uh, should any brethren, you know, want to visit, then, then I actually have a place to, to entertain that visit. So, uh, you know, I just want to put that out there as well, because previously I've not been able to do it. I haven't wanted to do it because of the place where I, where I used to be. It's just, it just wasn't appropriate at all. But now it is. So that, that's just a nice, a nice thing as well. The other thing as well... Uh, last week on Tuesday, I actually resigned. So I'm I'm here in my current uh, employment and uh, in a, in a side room here. It's raining outside, and uh, I wanted to record a you know a video where you know it wasn't there was no distractions or anything. Um, I resigned last week, Tuesday, the very end of Tuesday, and I've got a new job for a company that's uh, based in America, and uh, the job is uh, just a real answer to prayer. A real answer to prayer. It's a, it's a very very good uh, uplift to my salary. The whole thing is just uh, the whole offer, so to speak, is just so much better than than where I am currently. And uh, I didn't really want to leave this place. You know, the people here are really nice. I'm, I was relatively happy here. Um, I was actually approached about this job when I was out in the Philippines recently. And originally I, I disregarded it and just, uh, you know, brushed it aside and, and didn't think much of it. But um, they kind of uh, insisted really to at least have a call about it. And I did. And uh, it piqued my interest. And then I, I had a, a sort of formal telephone interview. And um, the, the sort of short story is I ended up having about five interviews with this. And I understand it's a fairly normal situation for certain jobs or certain companies uh, it's the first time i've ever had so many interviews and i was meeting you know vice presidents and all sorts of things it was a, a real something completely different for me i've never gone through a, a process like that before a very methodical process it also included some profiling and some other things never did that before you know so for example coming here for this job i just had a, a single interview and it was you know they just basically offered me the job not long after i left um, but with this one, it took quite a while to do. and um, But I, I felt fairly sure of it fairly early on, but I just had to go through 
you know, various interviews and things. And so they granted me the job and, uh, you know, the, the sort of offer and the package is it's just phenomenally better. And I'd been praying, brethren, for an answer to prayer about what I needed. And what I needed, frankly, was, was pretty much a miracle. You know, to be given a, a new home, to be given a great new job, that, that would help me pay for that. Because you have to remember, brethren, that my new accommodation, it's a, a, a new net increase to my uh, monthly outgoings. It, it's something completely new to me. I don't pay rent where I am at the moment, or where I was, rather, uh, up until Friday. You know, I didn't pay rent there. You know, I paid for some of the bills and all the rest of it, but that was it. So actually moving out has uh, substantially increased my outgoings, and I mean substantially. So I really needed a job that would, would absorb as much of that as possible, and that's what's been given to me. So, you know, to be given a home and to be, um, you know, given a, a great new job was frankly amazing. Uh, it, it was just staggering to see that, that actually the, the Lord, despite how I've been since December, since my dad passed away, and I've, I've had such a terrible time of it, brethren, and I've really let the Lord down, and that's just a fact. And, but yet to find that, you know, he still runs to me, you know, kisses my neck, puts a ring on my finger, and, uh, you know, uh, a cloak around my, a coat around my, you know, back and everything. To see that he still does that is, is just... Uh, you know, it's like I'm almost ashamed of it, you know, to be like that, to experience that, that um, you know, that mercy, that, that compassion. It's really humbling, you know, to see that despite everything that I've done and who I am, that he will still actually give me these things. So just incredible, you know, really incredible. So I just wanted to bring you up to speed, really, with a couple of developments as reasons why I haven't been online um, there are still questions, to be honest with you, about the ministry, um, especially when I see, you know, just such little engagement. Um, I allude often to, you know, just a, a very limited correspondence. I, I almost hear from nobody nowadays and, uh, you know, the views aren't exactly great. So, you know, sometimes it does call into question about what I should really do. You know, and I really appreciate the, the people that do contact me from time to time or, or do perhaps leave a comment or, or watch. But uh, it's just so limited that, you know, it does beg the question, you know, what next? And, and what I never wanted, brethren, was a career. And I've resisted this, uh, to be honest, with the, you know, with the career, with the job that I've just got. I've resisted it because I always saw myself being being completely open and honest with you all. I always saw myself living a fairly modest life in the Philippines, just, just preaching, you know, with my wife and, and leading a fairly, you know, modest life there. But what I found is with the obligations that I have and what I, what I must do, what I, what I have to provide as a, a father and a husband requires me to work and it requires me to source a, a good job that can pay for all these things. And, and that's the, the, the tragedy of it all, I suppose, in that I have to go down this road to do this. But what I've discerned is that perhaps this particular step is just one of several that's actually ultimately going to get me there. Because, for example, with this company that I've joined, they actually do have an Asian operation and uh, could be based, for example, out of Singapore and places like that. And it could actually work out that way. So I'm, I'm OK with it in some ways. I'm, I'm excited about the possibilities and I'm hopeful that... You know, this is, as I said, just one step in the right direction. So it could just be the long way round, pretty much, to be honest with you. So, you know, I'm OK with that, really. But uh, again, you know, it does get me thinking either way about what I do here, because, you know, the engagement is so, so low, uh, so low. It's, un it's unreal at times. And um, it, it really does get me thinking. So... Um, you know, I hope that you can just sort of pray about that. And, um, you know, if you feel inclined to say anything, then let me know. Because, you know, I've just been kind of keeping an eye on things and, and seeing how they go. And, and there's a pattern that's developing. And, um, you know, I personally, I want to continue. You know, I want to continue doing these things and um, preaching in the Philippines, for example. You know, I want to keep doing all of these things. But... At the end of the day, there are certain realities that you just can't ignore. And, um, 
you know, I, I'm not really happy with that, but, um, you know, it's almost like there, there, there should be a, um, an outcome for your effort, really. You know, when I do these really, really long studies, for example, and, and it just barely, you know, passes two or 300 views for the really long detailed studies, and yet I'll go somewhere else and see that, you know, some false female teacher is getting, you know, quadruple that amount or 2,000 views for just running her mouth about something. It really gets me thinking about, you know, the, the amount of effort that I pour into some of these uh, things versus the outcome. And, you know, I just, I, I don't really want to think like that and I want to continue on. But uh, as I said, there are certain realities that you just can't ignore sometimes and, um, you know, it, it does get you wondering. So anyway, you know, would appreciate your prayers on that. Um, rejoice with me, brethren, you know, three of um sorry two of the three prayers i've been making recently have come to pass a new home and a better job uh you know uh, the income that i needed to to offset most of my new outgoings and the third one is the sale of my dad's estate which has been really languishing and going nowhere and we don't even know what's going on with it half the time it's uh, it's poorly communicated and it just seems to be going nowhere so i've been praying about that and my sister and I have been trying to fix this and figure it out. It's just really frustrating. Um, so that's my other prayer, that we can actually just kind of close off that whole chapter, uh, that whole unpleasant chapter of my life, and, uh, you know, we, we can actually just get rid of this place and, uh, you know, clear some debts and that kind of thing. You know, that's my, my real hope. So, you know, I, I think that that will come to pass soon. And I think from that point, you know, the, the, the motive for me here, brethren, is it just feels like a bit of a fresh start. You know, I'd, I'd really been just struggling. You know, the situation with my dad was uh, really, really unpleasant. And I've, I've not been happy, uh, you know, work-wise, for example, for a while. And, um, you know, you kind of get stuck in a rut, right? And, and you, uh, I'm not someone who really deals with change that well. <laughs> But uh, there are times when you just cry out for something that's different. And as I said, I've been crying out for a fresh start. And the Lord's been making that happen. And, and again, in spite of everything that I've done and who I am, still doing that. And uh, so I'm really grateful for that. So, you know, just, uh, just touching on a couple of points there. So I'm going to leave it there. I wanted to record a video. I wanted to do it without a distraction and um, make sure something was uploaded. So... I'd appreciate your comments on this, and uh, as I said, you know, it'd be I'd be grateful if you could give thanks with me for the things that have come to pass, and pray for the things that will be. Um, and if you want to drop me an email, please do, and, and let me know your thoughts. You know, especially with regards to the ministry. I mean, I I want to carry it on, but um, I, I'm struggling to 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 justify continuing, if you know what I mean. And I don't mean that in a negative sense, brethren. It's just. It's really hard to know what to do when there is little to no engagement. Um, you know, I, the ministry that I have, brethren, is firmly, it's a ministry of exhortation. That's what I believe the Lord has called me to do, you know, whether I'm in the Philippines or here online. And it's just knowing whether I should just continue here, for example. I'm still going to carry on. I'm still going to preach in the Philippines when I get the opportunity. I'm still going to meet with brethren. But, you know, whether I carry on here or not, you know, it's another question, um, but I'd like to hear your thoughts on it one way or another, you know, and, and please pray about it. But so, yeah, so you can drop me an email if you like, BibleBelieverUK at gmail.com and let me know. So some good news, some good news. I'm happy. I'm happy to be um, working for a new company. I'm happy to be doing a good service for them and, and you know, working as unto the Lord for them, you know, and trying to do my best for them, trying to be an ambassador for this new company, doing a good job because it, it means means it something to me. You know, I want to to do well for those that, that I'm serving. So I'm praying that uh, I do a good job. Praying for wisdom, praying for confidence, praying for the ability to to do what they want me to do and to do it well. So um, you know, your prayers about that would be good as well. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. God bless and Godspeed. Thank you.